YouTube, welcome to another coupon tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing how to make a Superman like logo in GIMP. It's very easy to do, so uh, go ahead and open up GIMP. Then make a new layer and fill your background with black or any other color. And I'm going to do this quick select your paths tool and make a path something like this, resembling to the Superman logo. And hold control to link the paths. I'm just doing this quick. I don't care if it's crooked or anything. And I'm going to use my gradient tool and I'm going to use the gradient called uh, rounded edge and linear as my gradient. And I'm going to do something like that. Yeah, then make a new layer. Don't worry about this thing. Do. Then go to select shrink. Shrink that by around 16 pixels. And now select your gradient tool and use your custom gradient. Like I'm going to use a lighter gray to a darker gray. And make put it back to FG to BG and linear. And just drag it somewhere like that. Then go ahead and select uh, none. Then now as you if you guys know, uh, Superman has a S in his logo, so they're gonna make the text like I'm gonna use a T. So select Sans Bold or any any other font and make the size huge because we're just gonna type one letter. So I'm I'm just gonna type a cap capital T, and I'll just scale that around there, and then just move where you want to like. This could be good. Don't worry about this way. I'm gonna do something now. Actually, I'll just scale that a little more. Uh, we're gonna make that a little tall, yeah. and then move your text where you want to. And then uh, I'll put selection this red layer. Uh, actually, I'll put selection the red layer then on your text tool click on select invert edit cut and as you can see it gets rid of that extra thing now go ahead and select none and now we're gonna add some effect now we are gonna make the T connect with this so select your path tool and make a path around something like that Again, don't worry about this. We're gonna make it fine. So, but just make sure it's and just press enter to make that selection and fill that in with white. I'm going to select one. I'm gonna move it around. Actually, undo that. What you did right now, make a new layer and then fill that in with white. And go ahead and select none. And you can just move this around there, yeah. And then merge these down. Actually, oh uh, yeah. And then merge these down. Uh, then again, I'll put selection the red layer. Go to your text layer. Click on select, invert, edit that gets rid of that also now go ahead and select none and alpha selection the text layer because I'm going to add a gradient to it and alpha selection it select your gradient tool I'm going to use a gradient called uh, brushed alum aluminium Should be somewhere around here you can use any gradient you want uh, wonder where it is yeah yeah and then just drag down or he doesn't go well so I'm gonna use rounded edges right now I'm stroke down then go ahead and select none and they have it a superman logo uh, if you want to add anything to the background, you can just add like a lighter gray to a darker gray. 
Or the background to look more shiny. Where you land? Doesn't matter. Anyways, and then the last thing we have to do is merge all these down. And uh, we're gonna duplicate that layer and fill that in with black. Now we're gonna add a black. Actually, select fill the whole selection. Just fill that in. Uh, actually, I'll start selection that, and then just fill that in and go ahead and select none. And put that layer below. And now for the drop shadow, you do and on the black layer, go to filters. Uh, blur Gaussian blur and blur that by around 46%. And there you have it your drop shadow. You can just duplicate that again and just load the opacity. And yeah, that's how you can make a Superman like logo in GIMP. And I am Top Coupon. And thanks for watching.